Hi there, welcome back to my channel Scrap and Coffee. Uh, I'm here with a new part for the hinged folio. Uh, we've done quite some decorating, but we did not construct the closing belly bands yet. As you can see, I have one here and I suggest you make two for the project, but of course you can leave them out or just make one or go however you like. Um, but I did one and I'm going to show you the other one on how to construct. Uh, I did the one because I needed to make sure that the measurements were right. And I hope you will forgive me that I've cut the pieces already because it saves me a little bit with getting that trimmer uh, in frame and everything. So we are here and my cutting guide is completely messy. I just made notes on it. Uh, we are here by the closing belly band. So it says, um, it doesn't really have an, I don't really give it a number, um, but, Maybe I can because I need to do a small update anyway. I ended with Q there. So let's call this now R. Because I already have to check what is what piece. And Q, R, S, N, T. Okay, so we you are going to need two pieces of each if you want to make two of the belly bands. I or, I'm only going to make one, so I've got one of each. So... We are going to I'm going to do the scoring with you because I also know that for piece R I did a little typo in the cutting guide because it says align the 9 and 5 8 inch side along the top but that should be the 10 and 5 8 inch side. It's probably a typo that it was easier for you to figure out what to do but still. So that should be my bottom piece but I need to check because I didn't give it a number and that's why I always give it a number because I don't want to be doing this. Yes, 10 and 5 8 inch. So this is piece R and we need to put the 10 and 5 8 inch side on top so I will correct that little typo and we are going to score at 1 inch, 1 and 5 eighths of an inch so 1 and a half and then 1 tick mark to the side and then at 9 inches and 9 and 5 eighths of an inch. And then the other piece does not need any scoring, so this uh, should be that piece, so let's mark that as well. Uh, QRS. And then we have, this will form a pocket, piece T. So with the 8 and 3 8 inch side on top, I am going to score at half an inch. And 7 and 7 eighths of an inch, which is a half inch from the other side. And then to the 5 and 3 quarter inch side and score half an inch or like I do at 5 and a quarter. So this pocket will have a side opening. And then you also need a piece of acetate if you want that. But uh, otherwise I would just, if you don't want it, I would think I would leave the whole pocket out actually. Okay, so let's start with our piece R and S that are going to form the actual belly band. We are going to turn that piece over to the bumpy side and on our one inch parts, we are going to apply our double sided tape. So let's see, oh, my rules are stuck together. Three eight inch tape and I'm going to do two strips. So one close to the cut edge and then one uh, up against it. So I'm going to leave some room between my tape and the score line. It doesn't have to be much, but I just want to be uh, sure that I am not going over the score line. With the two strips of 3 8 inch tape, I have about 1 8 of an inch and that's also really nice for me. I find that really nice because it helps me with when I want to place the piece on top of it. I have that little place where I can put my piece without sticking it down and align it from top to bottom. So I give that a quick burnish and then I'm going to taper that um, one inch part. So I'm going to stay uh, roughly above the, above the score line. It's just for hiding the construction a little bit. And we will cover it up with pattern paper probably. 
Okay, we can fold and burnish all four score lines towards the bumpy side. And then we're going to try to make this as easy as we can for ourselves to attach all everything. So I'm opening it all back up and get my piece S in. And I'm going to check if I can place it here. And I'm going to the one inch score line. And I don't want to go over that score line. I can see if I line up nicely from top to bottom. And I do. So I'm going to remove this tape backing. You can also do this with wet glue, eh? you know. So I'm going to try to push it flat on my work surface. And now I'm going to use a little bit of space where I don't have any tape to align that from top to bottom. Make sure I'm not going over the score line. Take my time. And when I'm happy, I'm dropping it on there. And give that a burnish. And now hopefully we can fold this all the way here. Flat where you see your gusset here. And then you should meet your one inch score line on this side without going over. You should be able to fold this nicely. You see, I have a little bit of a bend. So what I what I might do is just trim off a little hair. Not too much, just a little hair. I'm not gonna measure, I'm just eyeballing this. Really, really tiny bit. And let's see if we can do a little bit better now. This should be fine. So I also try to make sure that I'm still lined up on top and bottom. Hold it in place and now I can flip that over without any, this um, coming up. I don't know how to put that in words. So wait, let's just remove this tape backing. Don't make it any harder than it has to be. So I'm making it flat and align it and now I'm just going to fold that over and give it a burnish and now we are going to make it all straight and then the belly band is there. So that's the base piece and you can leave it just like this and you have a closing belly band. But I'm going to put the pocket on top. So this is our piece T. And um, like I said, I'm going to make a window in here. And I'm going to do the 5 8 inch window like I have been doing through the whole project. So on the three sides with the score line, I'm going to measure the 1 and 1 8 of an inch from the cut edge. And the score line says, of the score line, the cutting guide says you can do up to three pieces of this. Because you can also make this pocket on the, uh, on the inside with the acetate window. And I was actually doing on something else. I was thinking about doing something else uh, there as well. Uh, but I just think I don't have the space. So I'm not going to do it this time and just save that for another time. And then, oh, see, I'm talking too much. This happens. On the side where we don't have score line, we only have to go 5 eighths of an inch, right? So 5 eighths of an inch. I'm always down because it looks so weird now, so out of balance, but it is right. <laughs> always double checking. And then I'm going to cut out that center so we can have our window there. So I was thinking on the inside, making it with a door where you cut only on three sides and score on one side. I have done that before in other projects, uh, but it creates more bulk. And I, I think with all the bulk that I've already created, um, I'm not going to have the room and then we are ending up with an alligator mouth, which I don't want. So, just cutting from... Paper, punch, hole, <laughs> I never know what to call those things, um, to the other.
yes that's out i can use that for something and then i have my acetate which is cut four and five eighths to six and three quarters let's check yeah it's it's okay i'm going to remeasure this quickly yeah you see i think i will change that to six and seven eighths for you by yeah the four and three quarters should be fine Yeah, I'm going to change that to six and seven eighths. Well, if you've done six and three quarters, it's not a, it's not a problem. You can still fit, but if you're using quarter inch tape, you might just be a little bit on the uh, close to the to the edge there. So I'm going to make it a little bit larger in the cutting guide. So, like I've been doing the whole time, I'm going to place double sided tape along the perimeter of my acetate and the cardstock. And then we are really done with construction. Although I'm only making one of these pockets now and I might change my mind and do the uh, on the inside as well. Because I think it's going to be a really nice feature if you open up the folio and you immediately have that uh, focal point there. But I will probably decide on that uh, for the very last thing and then you can also put magnets on your belly bands if you wanted to keep it all closed I don't think I will I, I don't think it needs it but then on the other hand it, it can open up just by itself right but a, a lot of my mini albums don't really have a closure it's just like a book And I think when you buy a photo album in the store, do they have closures? It's been a really long time since I've bought a photo album in the store. <laughs> but I don't think they have, maybe some of them have some ribbon or something, I'm not sure, but I don't think they have. So this is not going to be a really long video, right? It's going to be rather quick, especially if you compare it to the other videos for this project. But I just wanted to have it done. So, like I said earlier, if you are decorating on your own, then at least you uh, have all the construction. Because I don't expect everybody to follow along with decorating, right? Okay, I'm going to hoover this above. It's a little bit tighter fit than I normally have. Which still makes me doubt if I did everything right, but it's... I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm really tight on the top, but I'm just fine. Burnish the tape only and... <laughs> I feel the need to remeasure this. Yeah, it's five eighths of an inch, so that's right. And why am I so close to that edge then? Oh. It's all good. Okay, back to the dented side and place some tape between the cut edge and the score lines. stick that on top of the belly bench which we need to do a little bit careful let's miter these corners here and I'm also going to angle the top or it's actually the side but for now it feels like the top I don't go all the way to the score line I just stay roughly above it and then fold on these score lines to the bumpy side and make sure I don't overlap so 
So I won't do this window on the back side of the folio. That's why I say up to three pieces because I think you don't really need one on the on the back side, right? So I would do probably one on the on the front and then two on the inside of the folio. So at this moment I need to decide where I'm going to stick this <coughs> sorry, this pocket. Uh, because you have one side without any detaching strips and you have one side where you have two detaching, um, attaching strips. So something in me says put your pocket on top of this and then you hide that. And something else tells me yes but you create so much bulk but then again it's on the outside so it doesn't matter. And if I have this on the inside and I'm not placing a pocket on here then I need to hide all of this with my pattern paper which is not a big issue but I can prevent that I have to that I have that right so I'm just going to place it on top of the on the side where I can see the attachment strips there's where I'm going to place my pocket if I regret it I will tell you honestly so I'm going to fold it flat to where I have the gusset showing in my case on the bottom it doesn't really matter if it's on top or on the bottom just make sure that you don't attach your pocket on top of that gusset area in my case I need to stay above it right so I can align it from that score line to my cut edge on top now and then the opening is on this side uh, I might change that but then I only have to turn the, the belly band around so I am going to turn it sideways and remove the tape backing on the long side Try to hold this as flat as I can with my hands. And I'm going to start here. I don't think it really matters as long as you make sure that you fit. It doesn't really matter on what side you start as long as you don't put it on top of your gusset. And now I will remove these. And stick it along the side. And I didn't clean my acetate. Okay. And now we can put it all straight again. I think it's all fine. Because we're going to put something here anyway, right? So it doesn't really... I think this worked fine. Okay, so where's my folio? Right here. I have that other belly band on the back where we did a lot of the decorating as of yet. So what I did with this belly band is I've made it about one eighth of an inch larger in height than the actual folio, which makes it quite easy to slide it over. And it has the same thickness as the small spines, but it works perfectly. But if you put it up straight on your work surface, you will see that you have a little bit of room on top. Uh, it's really hard to get that in camera, but maybe you can see it like this. So you have that room. So I'm going to have my frame here on the front. And then when we open it up, we also can make them right here. Which can give quite a um, statement, right? Like I said, focal point. So I'm going... I, I think I'm going to do it. Uh, but I'm going to wait to be sure that I have that space for it. And then what you could do is, like I said, you can place magnets here. So when you close it, it it's going to attach on top of each other. It can still, the belly bands can still slide together while they have that magnets on there. Um, but basically your, your album would stay closed. So that is the, uh, that is the closing belly band. It's pretty quick, right? Um, so this is where I'm going to leave the, the uh, video for now and we will just continue decorating in the next one. And I hope to see you there. So uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Enjoy the rest of your day.